Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video. In today's video I'll show you how to do a super simple text color effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 18 using Fusion. It is super simple and the idea for this video came from a friend of mine who asked me how can I do a text changing color effect pretty fast and easy inside of DaVinci Resolve and I thought why not make a video all about that. So without further ado, let's go into DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's get started by doing this super simple color text effect. So first up, we'll go up to effects. I'm going to take a new fusion composition. I'm going to put that down to my timeline and then I'm just going to jump straight in to fusion. So in fusion, I have my media out. I'm going to take in a background and I'm going to connect my background to the media out. So now we have the overall size of our composition. So let's just take a super simple text note. And in the text note, I'm going to write a text. I love you. Super simple statement. And we are going to connect that to the background. So first off, I want to make my text look a little bit better. So I'm going to change the font into something I like. Let's take, oops, we're going to take this Oswald and I'll go into the shading options because I generally want to have a outline of some kind. Um, so let's make a red outline. I'm going to enable that and then I'll make the thickness bigger and I, then I'll definitely change the color. For now I'm going to change the color into black like that. I know you can't see anything because of the background is black but we'll get to that in one second. So I can just put my text up in my viewer here so I can see what I'm doing. Super, super easy. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take this particularly text note and if I right click, I can go up to copy or I could have used command C and command V, like I do right here, command V, uh, or I could have right click and um, used paste, which is right up here. Okay, but here I have a exact copy of the text. What I then want to do is I'll go into the color and I'm going to change this to a different color. Let's say I'm going to change this to a reddish color, which is not really reddish. So I'm going to go in here and just adjust that a little bit. Something like that. That is more reddish. Okay. When I've done that, I'm going to, again, take my media out here from the text and I'm going to put that down to the merge one and that's going to create another merge node. So now all of our text has become red and that's not necessarily what I want. I only want one letter or one word, in this case, love, to become red. So I'm going to take a rectangle like that and with the rectangle selected, I'll go up to the controls for that, like the, I can change the width, and you can see when I connect the output of my rectangle to this blue icon, which is a mask input, we're going to get what we actually want more or less. So first off, I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to change the width. Of course, if we really want to, we can zoom in here by pushing the command on Mac or the option on PC and then I'm just going to make this very small like that something like that and then I can go into the center here and I can move this up or down but in this case I want to move this to the side like that so now we have it right here so I'll go over here and make sure I'm on the first keyframe then I'll go over to the inspector of the rectangle. I'm going to put in a keyframe into the center, the width, 
and that's around it. Then let's say we'll go 24 frames forward around here. And I'm going to put in yet a, another keyframe in the center and width. And then I'll just go to frame, let's say 48. And then I'll go into the width. And I'm going to move this so it's going to be a little wider. And then I'll go into the center and then I'm going to move the axis so it's covering up the word. And then of course the width, I'm going to take that down a little bit again and move it around. So the idea is it should cover the word. So here we have that little animation here going on, something like that. If we then want this to look a little more smooth, you see it's a very slow animation like that. I'm going to select the spline and we have this spline right up here. I'm going to select that. And if I look right here, these are the things I can change. I know I'm going to change something in rectangle one. And that's what we have right here. If I click this icon up here, it's going to zoom out. And now I can um, highlight both of these keyframes and I can simply just push F and that's going to flatten out my keyframe. So it's going to be a little more smooth. If we have a look right here, you can see that it's a little more smooth. Of course, we have these handles, so we can change this around if we want. So we want it to be like a little more ish curvish. Like that. So that's how we are going to use the spline for this. I'm going to turn down the spline again. So this is our statement text, but of course I want to have some kind of video underneath. And the easiest way to do that would be to go into the background and under alpha, I'm going to turn this all the way down. So now our text here is transparent or there is no background at least. And uh, that means we can go to the edit page. I'll go to the media pool and I have this clip right here and I'm going to lift my fusion composition one layer up and then I have these heart shapes here. And now we have a little animation where the color is changed. But there's one thing I would like to add. So I'm going to take my fusion composition yet again. I'll go back to fusion because I want to add in some kind of movements. And the way I could do that pretty fast would be to take a transform, which is right here. What a transform does is it's actually just going to control everything, which is kind of helpful. So I'm just going to do something with the size again. I'll make sure I'm on the first keyframe and then I'll go to size. I'm going to size this a little bit down. I'm going to put in a keyframe and then I'll go to the end of our text animation and I'm going to zoom that up just like that, something like that. And then I'll just jump back here to our edit page and this is what we have. Okay, so that is how you can do a text color effect pretty fast and easy inside of DaVinci Resolve 18 using Fusion. This technique can be done to do other things if you want some statements and stuff like that. And I'll give you some examples on that right here. It's done with the same technique. If you're interested in knowing exactly how I did that, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a follow-up video to exactly that. Okay, so that's all for this video. I do hope you enjoyed the content. If you do enjoy this kind of content, please consider to subscribe for the channel for more videos like this. And I hope you are going to have a pleasant day. I will see you in the next video. And remember to keep filming, learning and sharing. See you in the next video.